Hi, it's Lori, the armchair chef. I have yarn. It's not a Mr. Yarn because it's from Ice. And, um, well, I don't want to get crap yarn, so I only ordered yarn that I wanted. And I did pay just as much in shipping as I did for the yarn. The whole box was uh, $200, but it came to about $2 a ball, which is okay. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, get on with it. So, I went through and picked out things that I wanted. And, um, okay, they came in big old uh, sheets. It almost looks like they're vacuum sealed. That's interesting. Well, let's get this open. That would make sense. So that they could... Um, fit more in the box without the box busting open which uh yeah I'm glad they tape it up because it does look like it could have busted open all righty let's get this open here I shall show you what I picked out and not what they just sent me because I picked random yarn so I got this and this is going to be hard to talk about because it's all inside these bags don't really want to open them, but you'll get to see how beautiful it looks. This says Mirella Green Shades Gold Cream in Silver. That's very pretty. And it does have a metallic running through it. Um, it is Mirella. Okay, fine. I'll open one in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice. What has this got in it? I don't know. Um, okay, this is mohair, acrylic, polyamide, and metallic. Wow, 15% mohair. This is really soft. And how much it has would be... It's a 50 gram ball. Um, it says it's a three, which, yeah, it looks like a three. And I am got some my eye on some projects that I want to work on, which is one reason I did do the ice thing, because they come in these packs of eights or tens or something, so that I could have a lot of one. So if this is 165 meters, then I have eight of those. So that should be almost, what, almost like a thousand yards of yarn. So I do have a few project ideas. Now, I have a lot of project ideas. Now, getting to them, it's hard. I'm just barely finishing my mystery yarn challenge project, and I've worked on that thing for, for two weeks. And all it is is a three-row repeat. But I have to change colors every three rows. So now I'm weaving ends in, which is uh, was what I started doing tonight. But I have the needles I have, I have little ones and big ones. I'm like, I don't have too many middle ones, so I'm going to be looking for middle-sized middle, middle -sized needles. What? Okay, relax. All right, so that's a gold, a green, and a cream. This is, uh, is this the same thing? I believe this is the same thing. Oh, this is Paris. Oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Purple and yellow and orange. So this is virtually... Um, This is called Paris, not Morella. So this is a different uh, name. This is gorgeous. I don't know if this is soft. So let me open one and see if they're soft. All right. This is not as... Yeah, I guess it's soft. Didn't think it was as soft as the other one. Let's see. Is this mohair? This is wool and acrylic. 125 meters. And this is, says four. So yeah, this one is a little bit um, bigger. This is called Paris, not Morella. So this is a different uh, name. This is gorgeous. I don't know if this is soft. So let me open one and see if they're soft. All right. This is not as... Yeah, I guess it's soft. Didn't think it was as soft as the other one. Let's see. Is this mohair? This is wool and acrylic. 125 meters. And this is, says four. So yeah, this one is a little bit um, bigger. And I didn't turn that light on again, darn it. I keep forgetting. Oh, I'm going to knock you over. Okay, let's see. There we go. 
Okay. Look at those colors. Oh my goodness. Purple, yellow, and orange. Gorgeous. That's called Paris. So I did have this sitting here for a while because I have like three three things of yarn to open and I had it sitting here for a while. So, okay, here's another one. This would be Paris in green and purple. Same thing as the other one. And they're, most of them are 50 gram balls. Now this one, apparently, is that the same? Oh my God. This is Alpaca Deluxe. Look at the difference. <gasps> These are all the same, but look at that colorway. Look at this bright black and orange, and then you've got this muted brown, white, and black. That is a surprise. This yarn is gonna work up really, really weird because you can tell it has those bright colors on the inside. These have it on the outside. Wow, this one is going to be interesting. This Alpaca Deluxe, it says white. <laughs> it doesn't look white to me. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, that is going to be cool. Um, I did get some... I just have a tag. Um, these are cakes. This is black gold. Look at that. Definitely black gold. Gorgeous. This is says it's a four weight. I did try to get stuff that I would actually use in case I decided to keep it. Um, Ta-da! 140 grams, 235 meters acrylic. 100% acrylic. And it's not as soft as the other stuff, but yeah, that's... That's pretty, and there's two of that color. And I have two in this green and black, the same thing. They're very pretty. See the green and the gold, brown? You could use those together in a project, so those would stripe up really nice. And this would be some, okay, this is the one that I was looking for, all the different colors I could get my hands on, I believe. But I don't think it was the icing. I'm looking for Gazelle. Is it Gazelle? In the Rock and Roll. The one with the shiny. This might be the one. I think I might have some of this, but that was the, I think it was the Hobie. But this has got that shine on it. And this is called Rock and Roll. And it's Wool, acrylic, and model. It's a four, and it has a yellow and a green, and there's eight of those. But I do have a, um, I do have a Hobie and a Premiere also. Um, let's see if this is the same one. Nope. This is fireworks. Look at that. Look at that. Pink and orange and fuchsia. Gorgeous. Let's see what that... This does not feel soft. This is very tight ball. It's called Fireworks. It's a uh, light, it's a three, 115 meters. It's wool and acrylic, but it feels more cottony. So pretty though, look at the colors on that. Wow. That's nothing that's gonna pattern because it's just a whole bunch of, I don't think so. It just looks like it's a whole bunch of colors, real short colorways. This bag has, this one would be alpaca colors. And this is alpaca colors. Alpaca, wool, and acrylic, 20% alpaca. So this is more of a red, white, a red and black and a little bit of silver in there. Um, looks like a four. There's eight of those. You do buy them by the pack, and it looks like there may be, some of them will have um, more in a pack than others. These m mostly have eight. They're 50 gram balls, which is 400 grams, which is a decent size to make a project. 
Now, this is a little interesting. What did I get? This would be called Binario Olive Green, Gold, and Purple, and Beige. I believe this is tape yarn. Because I have tape yarn that I'm kind of saving for a project. I also have some recycled sari yarn that I'm kind of saving for a project. So as I see things while I'm out here, I'm picking up a little bit more. Oh, look at this. Look at that. It's like a very fine tape yarn. Very, um, very thin see-through tape yarn. This is called Binario 100% Polyamide. It says it's a four and there's 140 meters times eight. So that also goes with this one. I got this one in the, the neon colors. And then I got it in this uh, brownish, brownish color, which is fascinating. I would have to look this up and see if anybody's used this before. Does this, does this stretch? Nope, no stretch. But that's gotta be interesting to work with. What I need to do is start just doing some crocheting with things. Stop shopping and just start crocheting with some of the yarn that I have. That would be a nice change. Okay. Get rid of that one. Now I have another bag. I'm going to take this one out. And put my yarn in this one. This bag. This box. Now, I just want to remind you that I did pick out these yarns. This was not one of those bags of mixed yarns. So everything that was in here, I'm hoping it's what I wanted. Because you can't always tell by the little pictures. So this would be... Oh, it's a yarn with balls on it. I wanted a yarn with balls on it. They had some... I don't know if this is... Let's see. This is called pom-pom yarn. This is... Yep. Pom-pom. White. This has little little pom-poms on it and some if it's very thin i don't know let me see if it, the thread runs with the yarn as three together it could be these three are together in one that you crochet with the white the pink and that that one that could be the actual strand that is so cool i could see that getting really tangled up though you might have to be very careful and do that one from the outside that is sale pom-pom these are 100 gram balls it's wool polyester and acrylic and there's uh, four of these so that's 400 grams that is so interesting i love this weird stuff and there should be another one in here somewhere um, but well, let's see what this one is this one looks kind of weird too let me see this oh this looks like velvet this looks like a uh, chenille chenille yarn like a worm this is chenille baby safari look at the colors baby safari that is cool make some baby a baby outfit out of that that would be neat i wonder how many, how many grams is this i don't think this is enough for a blanket it's only four balls that would be 400 grams 480 meters maybe a very small uh, a lovey maybe a lovey because you could probably one ball for each lovey four squares Four granny squares, maybe? Maybe a blanket. If you got a gran big granny square out of each of these. Could make like a blanket. That is so cool. Look at those colors. Wow. Oh, I love that. Here's a purple. This says Magic Jacquard. Oh, Jacquard. That's the stuff that uh, Michael's had that they don't have anymore. That I bought a whole bunch of it. Because I wanted to see what it looked like. And I did make that um, a hat out of the mistle, the Ivy's and Berry one. And I was not impressed at all. So, um, this is a 100 gram ball. Um, Magic Jacquard. 
it's a medium for um, 25 wool, 75 acrylic. So it does have a little, it's not as soft. Very pretty. Purples. I wonder what that pattern would be. I don't know. We'll see. Someday maybe we'll see. Okay. Whoops. Sorry. Again. Let's see what this one is. This is... Here's some self-striping sail yarn. That one I had four. This one I only have three. This self-striping. That's very pretty. Oh, I like that. I like that I chose them and they're all worsted weights that I feel comfortable working with and not lace weight. This would be 100% acrylic. So that is very pretty. I don't know if you can hear the banging. I have new neighbors. It's a guy, a big guy. He works. He gets up about now to go get ready for work. And there's an old lady that lives here. His mother, maybe. Which I thought, oh, this is great. I just want an old lady to live up there that doesn't go anywhere or do anything. Just sits in a chair all day. Well, apparently he has kids that don't live with him because they've been over here on the weekends lately. I just hope they don't move in. Visiting's not so bad. I can kind of deal with that. This when they move in. There's three of them. Gosh. Put it away sometime. Okay. This looks like a tape yarn. It is... Yeah, it's Violino. Look at that. Gorgeous orange and yellow. These look like 50 gram balls. Or less. This is this, it's a three. 50 gram balls, and there is eight of those. It's 100% acrylic. Chain spun, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, so this is a kind of a chain spun object. So the best thing to do when you get so many different things like this is to kind of maybe combine the ones that are similar. If you don't have a lot of other things like this, then you can see if you want to combine them in a project. Now, I just saw um, Crystal's Mile a Minute Blanket. And Jade has been doing those for gosh knows how, however long, and she does different stitches. Um, but I do like the way I do like the way um, Crystal did the border around it, and so I have that rainbow project, and I'm thinking that might be a good blanket to do my rainbow project in because then each stripe can be one of my rainbows, and I don't have to go side to side. I can go up and down depending on how many I have. So I have to count how many different rainbows um, skeins I have, and they don't even have to be all the full length. I could do small sections and connect them all together. So, yeah. Don't know yet. I am still saving it up there in that spot to decide. And let's see, here's another um, pink and orange. This would be Carnival Red and Pink. Apparently they like to sell these in 400 gram packages. Because these are each 100 grams. Very pretty. Some pinks and yellows and browns. Carnival. And I wouldn't say it unless they spelled it that way. They do spell it that way. So, this would be a five. Eh, it's a big four. Um, premium acrylic. It's not soft, soft, but it's uh, it's okay. All right, let's get this one out of here. This would be Magic Worsted Yellow. Magic Yarn. Whoa. I think what I did was I just selected worsted and um, sorted low to high and just went through and picked like one of each of some different colors that might go together. And um, yeah, look at this. This has, it says it's magic. It's got some uh, different colors inside of there. Yeah, some blue and some orange and some yellow. Um, it's a medium, 100% premium acrylic. Very pretty. That is blue though. Well, kind of a grayish blue, I guess. Elephant maybe. Um, I got another one, a magic light green. This ice opening is way better than a lot of the ones I've seen, and it's because I picked out the yarn myself. You have to agree. I don't have any of that weird stuff. 
that people get and then they just put it in a mystery box and give it to somebody else because they don't like it. <laughs> I like all the stuff I picked out. What if that thing works? Can I spank my yarn? I have to just find the middle and see if there's something down there that doesn't, you know. There's a middle right there. Don't want to do that, though, because maybe somebody else will get this. I don't want to screw it up, so. But now I'm curious. Okay, stop. Alrighty. This would be... Another 100% acrylic magic light. Look at those colors. This is definitely rainbow. I'll probably be putting this in with my rainbow stuff. And I ended up with four of those because they're 100 gram balls. Hmm, this one looks tiny. Angora Batik. Ooh, yeah. I think I got it because it was Angora, even though it was small. It is quite small. So this has got to be what, a sock or something. Yeah, it says it's a two. This is probably the smallest one I have. But it's Angora, so... You can mix it with something else. So pretty. Look at that. And then there's blue on the inside. Look at that. This is almost exactly the same as that other one that was thicker. With the blue on the inside. Wow, yeah, that's true. Um, 20 Angora, 20 wool, and 60 acrylic. 400 uh, grams of that. Four balls. This is a, ooh, Lana Bella. I think I barely got maybe one of each and maybe a couple. Because, you know, you don't really know what it is you're going to get. So if I wanted to make a huge project, I'd have to buy, like, maybe five of these. But what if I didn't like it? I don't want to have 20 balls if I don't like it. But if I find I like this, I could go back to the site and see if there's going to be more if I want to make a bigger project or just combine these to make a project. 400 yards. Oh, this is nice. 400 grams is pretty good for a project. Just don't make a big one. Just make smaller ones. Wool and acrylic. Oh, but this is soft. That is so pretty. Look at that purple and blue and green. So each of these ended up being, if you like, like Crystal does, we add it all together and divide it by how many balls. This is way more than 20 balls, but I think I figured it out to be like $2 a ball. Or something like that. I, I would have to do the math again. I might do it before I put this up and do the math. Because there's way more than 20 balls. And last would be another magic light lilac. I wonder what makes it magic. But look at that. Yellow and blue and purple. That is nice. This is the 100% acrylic and it's a worsted... Oh, it says three. So, um, but... I got what I wanted. I didn't get junk. I didn't get the crap. I didn't get that novelty stuff that people get when they get the random bags. Oh, I didn't want to deal with that. So, um, okay. I'm very happy with my ice haul. And um, you can get a good ice haul. You just have to pick your yarn. Um, yeah, it is, it is questionable, though, whether you're going to like it. So, I don't think I'm not going to like any of this. I would probably not get 100% wool knowing that I don't like the way it feels. So that's why a lot of these were wool blends because they're softer if they have a little acrylic or polyester in them. And then the Angora, well, duh, of course. So, okay, I think that's it. Um, not Mr. Yarn Madness, Ice Hall. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.